Now, everybody, the Lockheed Martin C-130, a plane that's very famous for its very, very good runway performance. You know, for example, this is the biggest plane to have ever operated on an aircraft carrier. And I mean, this is really a big plane, I do have to say. And one of the reasons it has such a good takeoff performance, for example, is its JATO rockets. Yeah, I'm pretty sure most of you guys have already seen this right here. The plane literally has rockets on board. This is what it looked like up close right here. This is uh, here a very good use case of the rockets in snow, probably Antarctica. This is really cool. Yeah, these rockets give this plane quite a good performance indeed. I mean, we can even activate them here in the flight simulator, just like that. Here we go. Rockets are rocketing. All right, let's just take off right here. We're at Saba Airport, an airport that isn't very large. This is a 300 meter long runway. Shouldn't be that much of a problem for the C-130. And oh, there we go. We've taken off. We've also kind of had a runway excursion, but there we go. Everybody, JATO rockets used properly. And I mean, look at this runway. This thing can literally take off from any place. So my idea for today's video is, well, could you fit JATO rockets to an airliner or something? Let's do it. Now, let's do a little bit of concepting. So here we've got a 737. The question now is, where would you even put JATO rockets? A good idea is to do it like the C-130 probably, like put some pods to the side of the airplane, you know, side of the fuselage. That could work, but it would be rather impractical, and especially flying this plane at high speeds and high altitudes. I really would like to avoid having pods here outside the plane. Another idea is to use the APU hole that we already have right here. Just throw out the APU engine, which you don't even really need. I mean, the Concorde didn't have any, so it needed a ground power unit to start up the engines. But who cares about auxiliary power units? We're gonna place a rocket in here. And in real life, this could actually practically work. I mean, just, I mean, it could work. Of course, we're only always talking realistic concepts on this channel, right? Yeah, anyway, here in the flight simulator, it is really easy to just put JTO rockets on a plane, right? You just go to expert right here, go to special equipment, and here we have the jet assist the takeoff tab and now we can place the JATO rocket now in order to put it into the APU I've just entered the length of the plane 125 feet there we go the location and then the power of the JATO rockets I've now put like 80,000 pounds that's maybe a little much big rocket that we put in the APU hole no problem at all just some specs right here and this should already already work let's go ahead and activate our rocket system all right three two one let's do it full power already so we can just take off straight away Oh, yeah, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Yes! JATO rocket in the APU hole. Let's do it. Can we, uh, can we take off now, please? Uh-oh. Oh, God. Oh, my God! Okay, that hasn't really worked. How powerful is this JATO rocket? Good testing, though. All right. Maybe it's time to return to our usual test facility right here. Welcome back to Edwards Air Force Base in the desert. Let's maybe try this again now. I mean, that performance um, wasn't very overwhelming. Let's do it again. Come on. Full power in the JATO rocket. How fast does this plane accelerate? Well, it is for sure faster than normal. And here we go. We can already take off. Right? All right. Okay, that used not much of runway, let me just say that, but not enough for Saba Airport, but really nice as well, though. Here we go, JATO rocket. That has been a successful test flight. All right. Never mind, the plane does actually fly and it does accelerate to quite a bit of a speed. Problem is, this JATO rocket is gonna run out of fuel soon. For example, the C-130 rocket only lasts for like 30 seconds. It's really just supposed to be like a takeoff booster, so it's not really gonna help us fly quicker at like cruising altitudes, right? Maybe I'm gonna try to keep it running right here this little fire just to see how fast can we get this plane maybe up to mock everybody yes reinventing supersonic flight how about that all right you know what we are actually reaching supersonic there we go we've reached a mock we've literally broken the sound barrier okay so if you were to just replace the whole cabin with a fuel tank just for the jato rocket you can fly Planes like this has supersonic speed, and this is actually a really stupid idea. I've just noticed that. Anyway, all right. Let me go back, though, to the magnificent Saba Island right here. Now, we've got this very beautiful the South Falcon FA-50 private jet right here. And guess what I've done? I've, of course, fitted a JTOR rocket to this plane. So let's fly this now. Let's maybe now try to use the whole of the runway here. Good. All right. So now I'll go full power into those very beautiful three engines. And it's now time to activate the beautiful JTOR 321 now. Yes, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Oh, yeah. That gives the plane now a bit of a boost now. I like that. All right, let's take off. That's what I'm talking. Yes. 
All right. I think I've put like thrust of like 40,000 pounds into this little JTO rocket, giving this plane a little bit of a boost indeed. This could be a proper idea. And I mean, it could work in real life. Wouldn't be very economical. And why, why, would, why would you need this? This plane would never have to fly here, by the way. But that's great. You know, just concepting around. I like that. Another problem would, of course, be um, landing the plane here in the first place. Like, Right, you need to, we need to, you need to land first before you take off. Another idea that could serve here is, of course, the parachute idea that I made up recently, where I built parachutes into planes for them to stop faster on a landing. Ah, the problem also is you cannot actually deactivate the JTO rocket once it's actually on, right? In order for the JTO rocket to stop, it has to run out of fuel. So we're basically skyrocket, like seriously skyrocketing at Mach 0.9. Oh my God, this shit, we're gonna fly to space, aren't we? Okay. That, that's crazy. We've gotten so far that the engines have shut down now because we are so high above. We, there's no uh, air up here. 70,000 feet. All right, I want to watch this now. This is actually kind of interesting. All right, 100,000 feet almost. We're kind of in space right now. We can see the stars already. Yeah, I've given the J2 rocket a bit of feel indeed, haven't I? Good idea. All right, now this is another one that I wanted to try here. This is the Airbus Beluga, quite obviously. It doesn't have very good performance, but thanks to our JTO rocket, it might just... All right, let's do this here. We're at Helgoland Airport, by the way. 350 meter long runway. Can we uh, take off, please? Yes, full power. Come on, 40... Okay, this is actually... This is quite a fast rocket now. Here we go. A little overpowered, but this is probably going to work. Yes, now we can deliver stuff to this place. There we go. That's worked very well. Now, again, the question lays in whether this plane would ever be able to land here on this 400 meter long runway. But anyway, this has gone extremely well. JTO rocket works. Now, the thing is, again, I cannot deactivate this rocket now. So the problem is we're going to go very, very fast in a second or two, meaning we're probably going to fall apart. This is not a very structurally safe plane. This is, um, it's, it's huge, but this is good. This is, this is a good experiment. All right, let's try this one right here. 747. This is, of course, mandatory test. Full power on the JTO. Let's do it. Now, this is four engines. I might, this might just work. Let's do it. All right, we're looking good. We are accelerating quite a bit. Now, I wonder what the G-loads on, on the passengers are right now. They're probably getting pushed into the seats very much. Okay, no. Okay, we're flying, though. This is a, a big boost. So yes, everybody, putting JTO rockets to planes, it could work. It's very stupid, but thank you very much for watching this. But yeah, guys, I'll see you guys tomorrow. This is good. Now, thank you to all my members here on YouTube, like Mike, Jacob, Tanner, Mubarak, Darren K, Oh Man, The Human, Robbie, Tim, Matt, Sleepy Boy, Calvin, Kelly Chaos, Ryland, Moritz, Jackie Boy, New the York, Shadow, Noah, and Death Rider.